the day has come for alok industries limited and guys today is 3rd of february 2020 as i already know and as you can see here the 30th january 2020 was the last date of alok industries trading so why especially about 3rd february because it is the record date for your shares in order to capital reduction and also taking over of the company and remember it guys the relisting of alok industries is going to be very very soon so guys in this video we are going to see when the alok industries would be relisted so guys if you are new to this channel then make sure you click the subscribe button below so that you could get latest updates regarding alok industries and also regarding many other shares guys so moving on as we said alok industries was trading in the range of i mean 1.5 to maximum 6 before this suspension of trading happened and you should know the main cause of the suspension was the takeover of Alok Industries by Reliance Industries Limited and they actually given the date on 3rd of February in today they have given but the trading has stopped in 30th January for this we have also given the reason why the trading was stopped because before this capital reduction to take place they will they will suspend the trading before 4, 4 to 5 days back in order to give a smooth uh, movement towards this capital reduction process. And guys, as your names are being recorded, they are going to reduce their share capital face value from rupees 10 to rupees 1. Several people are thinking that is this split up of value. No, guys, it is not split up of value. Usually, a company in insolvency process they will never do split up of their shares. They will only do capitalization process in order to give the shares to the new company that is the Reliance Industries Limited. So guys, when will Alok Industries relisted? So people may ask me this guys, but I want to give a real life example. The two shares which we see releasing process happened. The first share was Electro Seed Screens Limited which was acquired by Vedanta. After two and a half months of this type process, Electro Seed Screens Limited was listed. So recently we can say, Ruchi Soya Limited. Ruchi Soya Limited was uh, delisted from the market on I think November 29 or 28 and it was again relisted on January N. That means two months you should, I mean two months is the gap process for this process to take place, new shareholders to come in, changing the shareholding pattern and also you should note that your names would be in the name of the new partner. So guys, if you minimum share, if you are holding 10 shares, the new company will be holding one share. So people who are holding less shares, I mean less than the double digit, less than 10, I think the name would be not there or the shares would be not there because I can give you the proof guys because in which is already limited they have given for 100 shares they have given one share. So people who are holding 50 shares or 40 shares earlier could not give, I mean, could not have their name in new share capital they are having which is already limited. The reason is because the share capitalization is not favorable to them. So this is the cause for all guys. And those people who are holding a lot of shares in auto industry, maybe 1 lakh or 2 lakh or 50,000, maybe a thousand of shares, all the best to all investors holding the share because the reason because this company is going to take over very related industries and definitely it will turn this company into a profitable company in future and also it will try to mobilize loans and funds in order to move it fully and quickly guys and I wish all the best to all investors who are holding this share and any other update if you get about all the industry we surely put that update regarding it and if you want to get more updates then why not subscribe my channel for more video like this guys. Thank you so much for peaceful listening. See you in another video very soon.